Welcome, I'm Dwayne Zott, and this is your Zott Arts Pogo Painting Experience. In your Pogo Paint Pole Kit, you will find some instructional material and a check sheet to make sure that you have everything. And when you have a chance, go over, review your instructional material. In your kit, you will find some print material, some backing sheets, some foam a palette, a pogo palette, complete with a wonderful foam dot, <laughs> some Zod Arts poster paper, some cardboard, a cardboard spreader, some wonderful friendly tape, some glue, and some paint, along with your very own to use Pogo Paint Pole. There are three steps in your Zadar's painting experience. Step one is making your print. Step two is adding paint. And step three is boom, making your own poster. In step one, when you go to make your print, you're going to take your print material and you're going to hand it out. This is the backing material, which is black for the video for higher contrast, it's easier to see. One of the things I realized was when making this, by adding just a little bit of black paint, I was able to create a wonderful amount of contrast. So if you have somebody with low vision in your group or your family, please take a moment and paint a sheet black. So when you go to make your print material, I have some friends that are wonderful tearers, and they're great at tearing the foam. So they'll take a sheet of the foam, and they'll tear it, and they'll tear it, and they'll tear it, and they'll come up with this really full, wonderful pile of torn shapes that they will begin to arrange on their palette with the fuzzy dots down. I will show you later why that's so important. So always have the fuzzy dots on the opposite side of your print material. So then they'll take their foam and they'll, they'll lay it out here. They'll have a whole mound of wonderful torn shapes creating their own print design so that we can all make our own work from start to finish. Another way, a great way, is to take a marker and draw some circles or squares or triangles or like this morning I drew a flower. Just don't draw a little tiny shape because when you go to use your scissors and cut it out, like these big scissors here or kid scissors, it's going to be really hard to cut out little shapes. Try and give them a little size. Now, I have some shapes here that I've already cut out for the video for us. And I'm going to take one of my flowers and I'm going to place it right here on the middle of my design. And I'm going to take some of my little dots. I love dots. <laughs> I'm gonna paint some dots in the background here around my flower. You know what it reminds me of? Oh, it reminds me of little bees buzzing around in the garden. So there we have it. Now, I wanna make sure I prep my art area. So if you're working at your Kitchen table, make sure you put down a little paper so that, you know, there's no cleanup later. So grab a little newspaper or something and put it down under your work area. So now I'm going to take my print design. So now we can all tear, we can cut, we can draw. So we can all create our own print plate. Because here at Arts for All, we believe all means all. Now I'm going to take another one here, and I mentioned earlier that we always want the fuzzy dots down. And that's because when it attaches to your pogo paint pole, it'll wrap around the back. And we can go triangle to circle, and it attaches just like that. So you always want your fuzzy dots on the opposite side of your foam and your glue. Now, if you forget, it's not a problem. Go ahead and grab some of your friendly tape and tape it down. All right, so let's go ahead and add some glue. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake this glue down here, get it to go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna add this glue and I'm gonna go around and around and around and around and around in a tighter and a tighter circle. So I get it right in the middle there. So I get a nice coating of glue. Then I'm gonna take one of my cardboard spreaders here and I'm gonna spread it around. So we get a nice even coat like that of the glue. Nice. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take our glue board and I'm gonna lay it now down onto my print. I'm gonna go pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> Get it stuck down there, flip it over, pull it apart. Now it's glued. I'm going to take my print plate now and set it aside so that it'll dry overnight. This one we're going to use for the NYX plate, print plate. So the NYX one that you glue, you will use this one, put the glue on this and stick it down. So that's how you keep moving them forward. All right, now I think we've got our printmaking done. We can all create our own print where we are as an individual, tearing, cutting, drawing. I think we're at the point to go ahead and make our palette. So this is our artist palette. And we're gonna take this, I'm gonna put it down on my table here again. Remember to prepare your art surface. So you wanna make sure you put some paper down underneath this so you don't get some paint on the kitchen table. All right, and I'm gonna take a, one or two pieces of tape I have here. I'm gonna tape it down like this. One, two. I don't want it wiggling and moving on me. I'm gonna take this friendly painter's tape here that I'm using. I'm gonna put it down like that. Now I'm ready to add some paint. Get shook up, it's all ready. And I'm gonna do it just like I did the print printing when I was adding the glue. Go around and around and around, tighter and tighter and tighter till I get it nice and covered. I'm gonna take my cardboard spreader and I'm gonna to begin to spread it and work it into my foam palette here. This round dot here is foam, so you need to kind of work it in there. What you don't want is a big puddle of paint on top or else your design won't show up as well. So I recommend that you just kind of give it a little extra time. Now, after the, the first time, it takes a little extra paint. Next time, it won't take very much at all. I'm gonna add a little bit more now since it's the first time. Round and around like this. Get a nice coat of paint on there. Spread it like this. Now, that's ready. <laughs> I love this part. This is kind of like the cooking show. Oh, wow. My print is dry and ready to go. <laughs> so I'm going to take yesterday's sample off, print plate off. Again, these little folk, the Velcro coming right off like that. These Velcro dots that comes off. Set that aside. Now I'm going to take today's print, put it on there like this. I'm going to turn it around like this. You can see I'm just gonna fold these triangles right over like that. One, two, three. Now it's ready to go. I wanna show you that your Pogo paint pole is built, it's spring loaded. So that no matter how you hit the wall or the floor, it'll move. Or if you attach it, I have friends that are chair users and will, some of my chair users will hold it and I'll roll it and as we're rolling on up to our poster paper to make our own print, as we go boom. Or we'll hold it onto the armrest, various ways. There's also instructional material on attaching the pogo paint pole to a wheelchair in your kit. Now I think we're ready to add some paint. First, I want to make sure I put up my poster paper. Now, I have some black material up here in the background here, so but for you, if you're doing this on the wall or the floor, in your home, make sure that you put something up to protect the wall. So I'm gonna just put this like right here. Stick this up here with some of that friendly tape. It doesn't hurt anything. Now, I get to add my paint. I love pink. 
One, two, three. Love doing this little early childhood, we can count. Go four, five, six. One, two, three. We get a nice coat of paint on our print plate. Now it's time. One, two, three. We get to make our very own Zadar's poster. Have a wonderful painting experience.